Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we wrote a Python program to check the largest number in the given two number. Today, in this tutorial also, we are writing a Python program to find out the largest number, but in given three numbers. So the input of this program is three numbers will be given. If I take A, B, C, we'll take three inputs and we need to find out the largest number in that. So output is nothing but the largest number. So how to do this? To do this, first we need to check whether A is greater than B. And also we need to check whether A is greater than C. So the first condition is I need to check whether A is greater than B and C. If it is true, that means A is the largest number. If not, I need to check whether B is greater than A and C. If it is true, that means B is the largest number, right? If both this condition is false, that means C is the largest number. Okay, so in this way, we'll write the program. So first, we need to check whether A is greater than B and C. If it is true, if both this condition is true, if A is greater than both B and C, then that means A is the largest number. If not, if any one of the condition is false or both the condition is false, then I need to check this condition, whether B is greater than A and C. If it is true, that means B is the greater number. If both or any one of the condition is false here, if B is greater than A, but if B is less than C, that means B is not the largest number, right? We need to write C as the largest number. So that's what we are doing in our program. So first we need to check this condition. Next, we need to check this condition. If both this condition is false, then we need to write this C as the largest number, right? So to do this, we are using if elif else conditional statement. This is the program which we discussed in the previous tutorial to find out the largest number in given two number. But today we are writing the Python program to find out the largest number in the given three number. So here already we have two inputs. So I'll change the variable name, okay? A, I'll take variable name as B and we need another input, right? Because we want three numbers, right? Three input, third number. Okay, so this is about the input. To take the input from the user, we are using input function. And here I'm using the Python 3 version. That's why in Python 3, input function will take input as the string value. But here we want numbers. So that's why I'm converting this number to int using int functions. And we are storing the entered input in A, B, C variables. And these are the variables. You can change the variable name if you want. Now we are done with the inputs. Now I'll remove this. Now, as I said, to check the three numbers, we need if elif else conditional statement. So first I'll take if condition and I need to check whether A is greater than B and C. Okay, for that I'll check whether A is greater than B and A is greater than C. So here what is and? And is nothing but the logical operator. Here, in the case of AND, here we are using two conditions, right? One is this and another one is this. If both this condition is true, then only the whole condition will become true. If any one of the condition, for example, this is false and this is true, then the whole condition will become false. Here we want that, right? Here we want both this condition need to be true to print A as largest number. A should be greater than B and A should be greater than C. So if it is true, if this condition is true, that means A is the largest number. If it is not, if any one of this condition is false, for example, A is not greater than B or A is not greater than C or both, then I need to check for the B, right? So I'll take the elif, I'll check whether B is greater than A and b is greater than c if it is true i'll print b is a greater number largest number if both this condition is false that means a is not a largest number b is not the largest number then we have only one option that is nothing but c is the largest number right so i'll take else and here i'll print c is the largest number
we are done with the program so let's execute this i'll enter the number as 10 20 and 30 so 30 is the largest number yes right if i enter 10 100 and 20 100 is the largest number 900 is the largest number now if i give 100 100 and 2 so here we can see you are getting the error okay when i give 100 and 100 a and b are equal right so that time here we can see we are getting 2 as the largest number that is because here we can see we just took a greater than b a greater than c here b greater than a b greater than c we didn't took the equal condition so here just change this program greater than and equal symbol so now if we execute this so i took 100 100 and 2 100 is the largest number right Okay, in this way you can write the program so let's see how this program works so the first the program execution will begin from here it will ask the user to enter the first number so i'll enter 10 so again it will ask the user to enter the second number so i'll enter b as 20 again it will ask the third number so i'll enter c as 30. after entering a b c value a is 10 b is 20 and c is 30 right next here it will execute this if condition if a is greater than or equal to b here a is 10 b is 20 so it will check whether a is greater than b or whether a is equal to b here 10 is not equal to b as well as 10 is not greater than b so this condition become false right in the and if the first condition is false if the second condition is true or false it doesn't matter the whole condition output is false okay so this whole condition will become false so if condition become false so it will go to the elif condition it won't print this it will go to the elif condition whether b is greater than or equal to a yes b is 20 and a is 10 so b is greater than a right so this condition become true next it will check whether b is greater than or equal to c so here c is 30 and b is 20 20 is not greater than or equal to c right 20 is not greater than 30 as well as 20 is not equal to 30 so this condition become false so as i said in the and logical and if any one of the condition is false whole condition will become false here this is true but this is false so total whole condition become false so this condition also becomes false so it won't execute its body it will go to the else part and it will print c is the largest number so we'll get 30 as the largest number if i take equal number for example here 100 100 and 2 so it will check whether a is greater than or equal to b a is 100 and b is 100 a is not greater than b but a is equal to b so this condition becomes true and again it will check whether a is greater than or equal to c a is 100 and c is 2 so of course a is greater than 2 okay so this condition also becomes true both the condition become true so the whole condition will become true so it will execute this a is the largest number that is nothing but 100 is the largest number so it will give output like that because if condition become true so it won't check for the elif and else conditions so this is about the program that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care